the man who killed Thomas Sankara. Justice well served now. Life sentence for Bokita Bay ex leader Kampari for Sankara murder. The long awaited verdict brought to a close six month trial for the assassination of Thomas Sankara on 15th October 1987. A military court in Burkina Faso on April 6, 2022, handed down a life term to former president Bless Kampari for the 1987 assassination of revolutionary leader Thomas Sankara following a six month trial. Military prosecutors in Burkina Faso's capital, Ogadugu, had requested a 30-year sentence for Kampari, who was being tried alongside 13 others. Two other main suspects were also handed life imprisonment sentences. They are Gilbert Diandiri, one of the leaders of the 1987 Putsch and leader of the 2015 coup, as well as Hysinti Kafando, leader of Kampori's guard at the time. Kampori, who was unseated in the 2014 uprising, fled to neighboring Ivory Coast where he was given citizenship. He was tried in absentia alongside Kafando, unlike Diendri, who is in custody. The military tribunal has presided over the case handed jail terms ranging from 3 to 20 years to 8 other suspects while acquitted 3 other defendants. A Pan-Africanist leader who had taken power in 1983, Sankara, was killed at age 37 along with 12 other government officials. Kampari became his successor, ruling until 2014 removal. His sentencing was an important development in the case which has been followed keenly by Sankara's followers within and outside Burkina Faso. Even after his death, 35 years ago, Sankara was widely popular across West Africa for his sweeping socialist reforms and speeches. Today, he is still known by some as the African Che Guevara, referring to the Marxist revolutionary and one of the icons of the Cuban Revolution. During his time as president, he also notably changed the name of the former French colony from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, meaning the land of the upright. <laughs>